Good morning. When is it that the safest place to be is to be in a sinking boat? Let's look at it today in Mark chapter 4, verses 35 through 41. Here's what the Bible says. On the same day when evening had come, he said to them, He is Jesus. Let us cross over to the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he was. And other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that it was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, Who can this be that even the wind and the sea obey him? Here's our story. I think the most absurd accusation you can make against God is that he doesn't care about us. I mean, look, he left the glories of heaven and came down and, uh, to travel in a, in a wet, cold, fish-stinking, smelling boat to travel across this lake to save a crazy man. And to die on the cross for us, we'll, we'll see about the crazy fellow. We'll see about him in tomorrow morning's devotional. But Jesus does this. I mean, that's not something that you commonly would do if you're in glory, would it be? But Jesus did that for you and for me. So I think we can set at rest this idea that, that Jesus doesn't really care about us. That's, that's absurd. Being nailed down onto a cross and dying for somebody, that would lead me to think that they love somebody. So we need to have faith. Not only that Jesus uh, cares for us, but that, that he cares for us with a benevolent caring, that he wants good for us. Jesus wants good things for his people. So it's not enough to just have faith in him. I mean, the devils realize that, that God exists. They realize that Jesus is who he is. But they don't trust him. They don't have love for him. They don't think he has love. They have trouble with that. You and I need to know that God exists. We need to have faith in him. And we need to know that Jesus not only does come and die for us, but that he does it because he, he loves us. So God has a benevolent purpose for us, and that's part of having the right kind of faith. It's not enough to just have faith. It's We should have faith that God loves us. That's important. And then on this question about climate change that's sort of going around these days, if you're a person, maybe somebody who's stumbled into this devotional and you're still with us, you haven't clicked out of the video. Uh, maybe you're a believer in climate change, maybe you're full of concern and your blood pressure has gone up because you're very concerned that uh, somehow humans are destroying the planet and it's up to us, it's up to us to save the planet. I think we can leave that in God's hands. You're not God, I'm not God, and, and God is able to take care of his planet. He's done it for a long time. But it is interesting, a point I think you do have as a, as a climate change person. Back in the Garden of Eden, what did God do? He put Adam and Eve in charge of his garden, and he said, you guys need to tend this and keep it. So it's actually an interesting point that God started off by putting us in charge, humans in charge, of this environment. So we should respect it. We should take care of it. We should treat it with care because it's a gift to us from, from God. Not, it's not a gift from Mother Nature, the thing that just sort of happened. It's a gift to us from God. So Christians should show that. We should think about that. And we are behind on thinking about that. So thank you for reminding us of that. But you know what? Take a deep breath. Don't worry about saving the world. God can take care of his world. And, and what we need to do is learn to trust in the loving care and desire of God to be good to us. That's what we need to do. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, as we begin this day, we want to be thankful to you for your goodness toward us. Thank you that you have a purpose of love for us and you're willing to come down and and get down into the trenches and get dirty and uh, to be in a stinky, fishy boat uh, to help us. Please, Lord, bless us this day. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God be with you today. And if you haven't pressed the subscribe key there, I'm just going to invite you to do that. If you're subscribed, you'll be notified whenever we come up with another video here. So you have a wonderful day in Christ Jesus.